Hi. Welcome to Prime Recap. A young boy befriends a small turtle with incredible powers and soon discovers that the mascot is a powerful kaiju who will fight huge monsters in brutal battles. Today we will recap the story of the movie. Gamera the Brave, from 2006. We are in Japan in the year 1973, a brutal attack is spreading chaos throughout the city. People are running in desperation from their burning houses. A young man named Kosuke watches paralyzed, giant monsters, the so-called kaijus fight fiercely. A giant fireball hits one of the beings in the air, while a colossal turtle known as Gamera heads for the battlefield. However an overpowered laser beam hits the huge kaiju injuring him severely, the enemy is in the skies and strategically continues to hit his opponent. Gamera ends up falling to the ground, and all the winged monsters land on the creature to finish him off, trying to tear the giant kaiju to pieces. The brave giant tortoise is able to stand up once more, but the brutal attacks of the enemies continue to hurt the creature, which begins to carry all its energy from the marks on its belly. Gamera begins to radiate a reddish aura, and soon causes a huge explosion in a self-destructive attack that eliminates all enemies around him. Several years later, Kosuke has now grown up, and has a son named Toru, and they are visiting his wife's gravestone. Kosuke tells his son that his mother is living in paradise, but since the boy doesn't believe that such a place is real, he imagines that his mother is now nothing more than a pile of bones. One day later, while on his way to his swim, Toru notices that there was a bright spark on the island's horizon, which keeps glowing as if it is trying to talk to him. The boy decides to skip school and investigate the mysterious light, as a good swimmer was able to cross the water and reach the desert island. He scales and heads towards the luminous item, which turns out to be a large round egg placed on top of a shiny stone. Toru looks and stirs that strange egg with curiosity, and suddenly, the egg begins to break apart, bringing forth a nice little turtle. The boy is very happy and tries to help the little creature, and soon creates a friendship with the mysterious little creature, also realizing that there were unique marks on its belly. Toru adopts the little creature and names it Toto, but he is surprised to see how fast the little creature has grown after only one day. He tries to hide the animal from his father, who comes in the morning to clean his room, but is shocked to see that the demented little critter is somehow levitating in the stillness. The boy's neighbor, named Mai, also sees this and screams in despair, leaving the little turtle desperate and flying into the house. But Toru catches the animal just in time. He asks the girl to be quiet, and they narrowly manage to hide the situation from his father who leaves totally confused. Toru shows the little animal to his friend, and Mai is impressed, after all, the little animal flies smoothly as if it had a small turbine. The boy reveals his new pet to all his friends, who are impressed by the flying turtle, which soon makes them want to make friends with the animal. However, Mai does not agree with all that discussion, saying that Toto could be a real threat. She shows Toru information about Gamera, telling the boy that his pet has certain equals to Kaiju, even the power of flight. Mai says that he should let the animal go, however Toru has no idea that his pet could become a very dangerous monster. But soon things prove to be the opposite, as Toto grows absurdly all the time, turning into a very large turtle that cannot be camouflaged in the boy's room. Satoru decides to take his mascot out on skateboards, together with his friends, and place the animal inside his secret hideout. The boys are impressed by the beauty of the creature, but Mai is the only one in the group concerned about the origin of this strange creature. Mai again tries to tell Toru about the risks, but the boy denies that Toto is actually Gamera. The girl falls into tears as she tells Toru that she may not be able to take care of him in the future, and leaves in sadness leaving the boy alone. The next day Toru understands what his friend was talking about, as he sees Mai's parents very concerned about her health. The girl will have very complicated heart surgery, with high risks if the procedure goes wrong. Toru starts thinking about his deceased mother, watching Mai's family, realizing how much he wishes she were still alive. He takes the red stone he found with Toto's egg and presents it to Mai, so that she will feel protected and succeed in her surgery. Mai thanks Toru for giving her such importance, and makes a promise to return her as soon as she is discharged, however Mai is feeling a very bad feeling ahead of her. The next day, Toru goes to his secret hiding place and becomes desperate to see that Toto has disappeared. He tries his best to look for the creature with his friends, but none of them can locate him. What they have no idea is that great danger is approaching, as a man is trying to stay alive in his boat, which has been destroyed in the middle of the ocean. He notices that something is not right when some objects emerge on the surface around him. In fear, the man tries to swim away, but is soon pulled to the bottom, leaving nothing but a stain of blood near his float. The Coast Guard has been notified of the sinking, and is looking for the missing people, but very soon they get the information of what really happened. Warning sirens are turned on throughout the city, as people run desperately for their lives, Toru along with a friend, 
realizes that some destruction has already begun in the distance. Kosuke finally finds them in time and tries to lead them away from the chaos, but as they descend the stairs, they run into several people running towards them, including one of Toru's friends who stumbles. They run to help the boy, but are knocked down by the impact of a concrete pillar that has been thrown by a terrifying kaiju named Zetus, who advances on the population. The creature prepares itself by opening its huge jaw and takes a bite out of the crowd of humans, then Toru realizes that his friend is still alive, and his father tells the boys to wait there so that he can save the boy. He manages to move forward carrying it on his shoulder, while the kaiju goes all the way towards him, but luckily the monster is intercepted by another creature. We can then see a giant turtle right behind him that roars furiously at the enemy. Kosuke realizes that this is Gamera, and that he is there to save them, giving the boy and the girls a chance to escape. Zetus roars in full fury at the colossal turtle, but the kaiju steps forward and bites the damn lizard right in the leg, causing the creature to scream in pain. The lizard monster throws the creature against the ground and tries to bite it non-stop, and manages to throw it through the buildings, blowing away several structures. Soon, however, the kaiju is able to recover and stands upright again. Toru looks back and recognizes the mark on the kaiju's body, confirming that the turtle is actually Toto, which assures him that he is Gamera's reincarnation. The boy goes to the combat area to help his friend, while Gamera is being forced to retreat, running away from the bizarre lizard. Zetus roars furiously and hits the kaiju using his tail, throwing the turtle into the air and pushing it backwards, but Gamera doesn't want to give in. The enemy prepares to make his last attack, the lizard hurls its sharp, giant tongue in Gamera's direction, forcing the turtle to dodge the multiple attacks that are leaving the bridge increasingly destroyed. Kaiju manages to hang onto the monster's tongue, launching a fireball at him, causing Zetus to plummet off the bridge straight into the water. Although Gamera won, he is severely injured, causing Toru to run towards his friend, who is soon intercepted by the military who try to block access to the site. The army makes its way to Gamera and tries to surround her, even as the poor thing can barely move her body. They tie him to a military truck, and drive Gamera unconscious while people watch the scene. Toru observes everything and runs to catch up with his friend, who is passed out. The boy keeps running alongside the truck, shouting Gamera's name, but the kaiju can barely open his eyes, and soon after, he is taken away by the soldiers. Toru arrives at the shelter next to his father and questions him about Gamera's true story. Kosuke explains that Toto is the reincarnation of the kaiju who sacrificed himself to protect the world, he tells Toru not to feel affection for the monster, for he will fight other monsters until he loses his own life, but the boy does not want to let his fate come to that. Back at the military base, Gamera finds himself in a laboratory with scientists who are incessantly trying to help him heal, since he is the only living thing that can eliminate the crazy lizard. The military have managed to find many reddish stones in the sea, and believe that Gamera must be related to the artifacts, and inject them into her body. Meanwhile, Toru is on a call with Mai's parents, who claim that the girl said incomprehensible things during the surgery while under anesthesia. Apparently, Mai has formed a psychic connection with the kaiju and knows that he needs the glowing stone so that he can heal himself, and close his wounds. Realizing that Gamera is in trouble, Toru has the plan to get the stone back with Mai, so they can heal their creature friend. Kosuke sees his son's farewell letter, causing him to start a search for the boy. At the same time, the scientist is still trying to cure Gamera, not knowing why his techniques are not being effective. Incredibly, the kaiju regains his consciousness, as he senses the presence of Zetus, who is swimming through the ocean towards the city. The medical staff is alerted that the lizard kaiju is coming straight to the Pokemon Center facility, but it is very obvious that Gamera is not yet recovered for combat. At that moment, a giant tail begins to destroy the entire building, throwing everyone to the ground. The ceiling is shattering on top of the poor turtle, and so he can see Zetus, who has returned to finish this once and for all. The people try to get all the inhabitants out of the buildings as soon as possible, because the lizard monster continues to destroy the laboratory using its tail, Toru has also arrived in town, but sees from the news that the monster is attacking the entire region. Realizing that retrieving the stone is the only way for them to achieve victory, the boy immediately rushes to the hospital where Mai is at. What he doesn't know is that everyone is fleeing the scene, including the girl, who runs away with her parents as the red stone begins to glow. In the lab, the doctors have managed to survive the attack, and witness Gamera emerging from under the rubble, much more giant than before. The kaiju turtle is now raging, as the lizard continues to terrorize people by spreading destruction throughout the city, while the population runs for its life. Zetus approaches the escaped humans on top of the building and tries to devour them, but is knocked down by Gamera, who has arrived for the battle. The lizard roars in fury and is ready for combat, and starts to push the giant turtle backwards, 
being able to break Gamera's balance on the ground right in front of Toru. The boy shouts the name of his friend, who goes into a rage to protect the humans, even though he is still taking powerful blows from the enemy. Toru realizes that they don't have much time and heads as fast as he can to the hospital, arriving at the subway station, and they head in the opposite direction to the people who are fleeing. The group manages to reach the hospital building and runs to the upper floors, but to their disappointment, they only find empty beds and no friend. Toru then meets his father in the halls, and the man tries to stop the boy from continuing on this dangerous journey by telling him to forget about the kaiju. However, Toru refuses to give up, because he does not want to see Gamera lose his life, and fearlessly goes to the monster again. Kosuke before going after his son, tells the other boys to go to the refugee camp as soon as possible. Maya is resting in a makeshift location as she witnesses the kaijus fighting non-stop in the distance, and can do nothing to give the creature any help. She gets up and goes to Gamera, but her parents stop her as they have no idea what she wants to do. When everything seemed over, Mai notices another girl who seems to understand what she was trying to do with the stone, and makes a promise to complete this goal for her. The girl runs away from the building, heading towards the kaiju's battlefield, she runs into all the people who are escaping the area. Meanwhile the combat remains destructive, Gamera is suffering fierce attacks, and ends up with his paw pierced by the lizard's tongue, which makes the turtle scream due to the injury. The giant monster continues to attack Gamera with its tail, but the creature does not give up, and continues to take all the beating. Zetus again manages to knock the kaiju down, and continues to descend the blow on it. This opens a gap for Gamera, who, using his bite technique, takes a good bite of the creature's tail, leaving the lizard in desperate pain. However, Zetus begins dragging the kaiju down the street, while scaling a building and keeping Gamera hanging in the air. Suddenly, the big lizard does a front-facing somersault, causing the poor thing to crash into the structure. Toru sees that his friend is in danger and cries out in despair, but what he doesn't realize is that help is coming very quickly in the girl's hands. The problem is that girl carrying the red stone gets stuck in the out-of-control crowd, but wisely passes the mission on to another boy, who continues running to complete the Pokemon journey. But here comes another problem. The boy is interrupted by a policeman trying to save his life, so once again the stone is passed on to a new boy who takes on the mission. The red stone passes by everyone in the group, who come together as a true team of heroes to save the world. Toru's friends receive the artifact after their long journey, and are able to bring it to the boy. Toru picks up the stone and already knows what has to be done, while looking at the building, he promises that he will do everything to make sure that the kaiju does not die once again, and surprisingly, and his father decides to help him in the mission, running alongside him to Gamera. However, Zetus also begins to climb the skyscrapers in an attempt to eliminate Gamera for good. The creature finally gets to the kaiju's side and pierces the turtle by flicking its sharp tongue, causing huge injuries to Gamera. The pair then arrive at the building, and Kosuke makes his way through the rubble so that his son can go ahead on his own and reach the turtle. The boy immediately runs upstairs and reaches the room where Gamera is being held, and realizes the level of his injuries. Toru tells the kaiju that he brought the stone so that the creature can live, as he refuses to see a loved one die in front of him once again. However, the schizophrenic lizard leaps into the building and attacks Gamera again with its tail, pulling the kaiju away from the boy. Toru quickly throws the rock into the creature's mouth and Gamera plummets like a plastic doll, causing a violent impact wave as it collides with the ground. The boy runs to the edge to see what has happened, and we can see that Gamera was able to stop the fall using his blue energy, so he has his full power back. The turtle throws itself into the sky, covering everything around it with dust, and all the young people look at it with joy since they have managed to save it. Gamera starts spinning his hull ripping through the sky, dashing full speed into the giant lizard, hitting it and knocking it off the top of the skyscraper. But Zetus comes out from under the wreckage and bites Gamera on the neck. This forces Gamera to recharge his energy from the marks once more, and in the building next door, Toru and his father watch the battle closely. The soldiers rush to them to get them out, as they believe the kaiju is about to self-destruct, but the boy says it will never happen again. So everyone continues to watch. Gamera manages to push the enemy away, grabbing and tearing the creature's tongue to pieces. Gamera prepares to launch his final attack, glowing even stronger, emitting a gigantic heat around his body. The kaiju launches a huge fireball that flies directly at the lizard monster, causing the creature to explode into several small pieces, consuming itself in flames and destruction. After finally achieving victory, Gamera falls to the ground totally exhausted and the army heads towards him to capture him again. However, they are stopped before they reach the kaiju, as Toru and his friends refuse to let the humans take away the freedom of the warrior turtle. And so they shout for the monster to run away from there. 
Kosuke tells the soldiers that they should give up now, as all the teenagers form a barrier around Gamera to protect their great friend. Gamera wakes up after a while and looks at Toru for the last time, as he gets up so he can say goodbye, and leave for another world. Everyone watches in amazement as the creature flies back into the sky, spinning with its hull at full speed and disappearing into the blue expanse, which makes Toru thrilled, knowing that his friend is finally free. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.